Hey, hello and welcome. I'm here today with Russ Anderson, a friend of mine who is a UX UI specialist and digital product designer. Hi, Russ, and welcome. Thank you for talking with us today. Hey, Dave. Good to see you. And thanks for having me. You bet. So I like to start out with a few, you know, lighthearted questions just to, to get us warmed up. And you and I both met not through web development, but through playing in bands. And I've noticed a lot of web developers and designers are musicians. I think it taps into that same creative thing. But uh, yeah, yeah. we both play in 80s rock bands. So I want to ask you just, you know, curiosity here. Who's your favorite 80s rock band? That is a tough question. Um you know, I, I don't, I can't say that I have a favorite, but I'll listen to anything. Let's say if I'm driving in the car and the radio's on and anything by the police or Tears for Fears or Devo comes on, I'm not changing the station. So right, right. Anything oh, from nice, those guys. Nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm a, I'm like a kind of a Journey fan, you know? Yeah. I've always loved Neil Sean on guitar. I, yeah. You know, I play guitar. He, the guy can shred and then he can play so melodic. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah he's great. Yep, love him. Okay, another question I, I love asking everyone, and it doesn't matter if they're a designer, developer, uh, or whatever they do, but what was the first editor, and I usually say code editor because that's my background, but what was the sure. first editor that you used? And I know you go way back in the day just like I do with this. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's definitely going to age me here, but Microsoft Front Page was the first thing I used to build a website. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I remember know. that too, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know how many people you know. Most mostly us old dogs know it and uh, cringe. You know, you always say it with a cringe in your voice. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, a good question now, and and I'm jumping into the more serious questions here. But you are a digital product designer, and of course, that kind of it makes me think of web design and beginners often interchangeably use web development and web design. And I think a lot of us use web development as this umbrella that web design and other things fall into. But how would you distinguish between the two if you're explaining that to a beginner? Well, you know, web design is the look and feel of a website or a web application. In my case, you know, I'm a product designer, so I design digital products, which are typically a web app or a native app. Um, whereas development is more the functional structure, if I can kind of loosely use a phrase there. So I usually like to tell people, um, if you were going to equate it to building a house, um, the foundation, the framing, the electrical work, et cetera, is kind of the code. You know, that's, you've got to have those things there to make the house a functional house. Whereas uh, the paint colors, the flooring choices, and so on is the design. That's what makes the house look good. So um, those, that's kind of my normal spiel of explaining the difference. Now, I love your explanation. And I've, I've got to admit, and some of the viewers might know, I made a video about that as well, talking about the foundations of the web. And I compared HTML to the foundation and the frame of the house. And then the CSS yeah. was the carpet and the wallpaper or paint or whatever was used there. Perfect. And then the JavaScript was bringing in the electrical and the plumbing and making things function. So I, I love your analogy and I've used something very similar. Yeah, I, I, yeah that's good. I mean, it's it's a good analogy, you know. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the video. You may be surprised to learn that three out of every four viewers, nearly 75% of all people who watch my channel aren't subscribed. So I just wanted to take a quick second and remind you to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And if you really like my videos, you can get exclusive content and support my channel even more by joining my Patreon at patreon.com slash Dave Gray. Thanks for your consideration. And now back to the video. Yeah, so let, let's build on that now. Let, let's say, okay, you're a beginner, you've learned some HTML, and now you're learning CSS. And hey, this is great. I really like making things look good. And you're starting to think maybe this is what you're best at or want to work on. Like me, I'm, I'm more of a developer when I get into the logic. I, I'm good enough at CSS to know the basics and teach those, but I'm not really a designer. But let's think about somebody that truly wants to go into web design. If you were going to give them some advice just starting out, what would that be? Um, yeah, uh, well, design is, design is subjective. Um, you, if you want to be a designer, you have to have thick skin you can't get too emotionally attached to your designs because everyone 
and their dog, or in my world, everyone and their secretary has an opinion on what good design is. So you can have what you feel is the best design in the world, and somebody that you've never met before will say, you know what, maybe the buttons should all be purple, you know, and purple's not in your color palette. So you are going to deal with that on a regular basis. So be ready for it and don't get discouraged when you have to go through this process, process of explaining your design ideas. Um, um, I think, you know, and Dave and I were talking about this before, if uh, there are days where if I could just build HTML and CSS, let somebody else do the design and deal with, you know, all the, the weird feedback that you get as a designer, and just build it out, nobody cares. You know, you've built it, it looks the way the design that everybody loves looks, and you're good to go. So a little easier going on the CSS, HTML side of things. Hey, I like that idea. I like to keep things simple, and that's what we want to do with code. <laughs> Why sure. make it complex if it doesn't have to be? <laughs> Absolutely, 100%. Okay, I'm going to bring up an, a couple of initialisms here, and they're actually, as I introduced you, we used them in the, the title, but tech has so many different ones. And, you know, we've talked HTML, CSS, these are all initials for things. Uh, but UI, UX, uh, there's videos dedicated to this on YouTube, of course, trying to explain the difference. And we're talking about the user experience is UX and the user interface UI, but uh, you know, those get crossed, those wires get crossed during explanations all the time. How would you explain that? And of course, uh, you know, in, in an easy way for beginners as well. Sure. Um, well, UI or user interface is a part of UX, UX being the user experience. So you can have a site, and I like to use Craigslist. It's functional, it's easy to navigate. You can do exactly what you wanna do as a user but there's no flash to that site at all. It's all text-based. You know, you go to the homepage, it's all links. You click, you know, I wanna buy a car, you click on cars and you go look for cars. Um, and it's a good user experience with the lack of a robust UI. So UI, I mean, if you're gonna look at a Venn diagram, UI is kind of encapsulated within user experience. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's a great explanation, I think. And Thanks. I like the example of Craigslist. That's that's going back to the early days of the web, and they just never changed, really, did it's, they? <laughs> it's it works. So you know, don't don't fix it. <laughs> Function over form. That's okay yeah. too. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Well, Russ, I appreciate you answering these questions, and I, of course, want to let all the viewers know this is just the first half of this interview, we're going to have a part two that's going to be exclusive on my Patreon feed. But Russ, let's let everybody know where to find you on the web. Uh, yeah, um, I'm on LinkedIn. So uh, LinkedIn slash in slash Russ Anderson, or I have a portfolio site. And like most designers, it's being redesigned as we speak. So uh, russanderson.com and that's one S on Russ. So yeah, go check it out. Hey, I'll make sure to put those links in the description, and I've probably shown them here on the screen as you're talking. Well, hey, Russ, thank you for here part one, and make sure you join us on my Patreon feed for part two. For sure. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Hey, guys, I recently started a Patreon, and I'm already giving shout outs to Holy Coder, who is a progress provider, and Eldad, who joined at the senior member level. Also, shout outs to all of the junior members that have joined. Thank you all so much. You're helping me reach my goals. And if you haven't joined, please check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Dave Gray. I've got exclusive content there that you won't find on YouTube, and I've also got early release content. Hope to see you there. Remember to keep striving for progress over perfection, and a little progress every day will go a very long way. Please give this video a like if it's helped you, and thank you for watching and subscribing. You're helping my channel grow. Have a great day. Let's write more code together very soon.